Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a live video. I mean, it's uh, recorded, but I'm actually going to do everything live. There is no preparation. And this is a programming video. We are going to do some coding today. All right. And this is pretty cool. We are going to learn a lot. So what we are going to do is we got some files to download, but uh, while downloading it, there are some issues. Like I don't want to download it one by one. I want to download these files parallelly. Okay. So for example, if you are just downloading some series from index of trick which everybody knows these days so i'm going to use python multiprocessing now let me get start with the basics in case if you don't know all right so this is going to be really cool all right so script.py so you've been python now i think it's the user n okay okay no need where is python i need to know the location of python user bin python all right okay so this is our shebang line of python and we are going to write some python so hello world and uh, let me add this here and run it script.py i think i should make another you know window for tmux so this is a very simple python script which uh, we are going to get start writing so first of all what is processes so if i run a while loop while true uh, print uh, hello world in python and uh, so let me first run it so python um go to youtube python script.py so this is key just running all right this is keep running so this is cool all right the script is running here the while loop is running as you can see now i'm going to type this ps aux grab grab python all right so here you can see that um, there is this process here which is uh, my program which is running i am unable to select it for some reason okay so the process id is this and i can kill it okay so kill nine so nine is for like um, if you type minus nine uh, in the kill it's definitely going to kill whatever you want to kill okay so eight one kill it so as you can see we killed our python script pretty cool okay and this other process is nothing it's just uh, the grab command which i run all right so just ignore this part so this is cool uh, my script got killed but notice one thing i killed one process okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to import this uh, you know multi-processing module which is present in python so from multi-processing import process so i'm just going to import this uh, process class here and i'm going to make one process so in order to make process we have to make a function first so function which do something uh, let's just make a function um time dot sleep uh, this is just a sleep command so import time and uh, i just want to print the process all right let's just remove all this so this is just one simple function f and it is keep going to you know it is just going to run and it's going to sleep for one second and then it's going to print you know running sub process all right running sub process so this is just going to run for no reason currently and now this uh, okay so right now it's uh, just a function i'm not going to run it all right if i run it like this all right if i run this function like this then what will happen uh, well there is nothing happened whatever we did previously uh, it's just going to run it like while loop is going to run okay but i don't want to run it like this i want to make a process so let's make an x process like call it x so we have to follow some convention here in the documentation as you can see so we have to pass the target so target is the function and then you have to pass the arguments all right so args now there is no argument so i'm not going to bother with that so as you can see x is our basically object and now we have to start it so start the you know process now you might get confused what is happening right now but i'm going to explain you so don't worry about that so after starting there is one more thing which uh, we have to do is joining which is something we'll see later so let me save this file and let me try to run it so as you can see um there is nothing okay we are we are getting this running sub process here but let's just run that command again so ps aux grab python all right so here in window one as you can see our sub process is running and 
run it. So here, as you can see now, there are two processes, right? Process one, process two. And previously it was just one process. So what happened is there are two processes because first, uh, it's the main process, all right? Uh, the process which we get earlier, but the second process, which I think this process is the process which we created. So this function, which is currently running is actually running in a sub process. So I stopped it. All right. Now let's just run it again because you know, it's multi processing. It's pretty confusing. So, okay. So all the processes got killed. All right. Pretty cool. So this is cool. Now the whole point of this is. We are doing multi-processing and people get confused. What is multi-processing? Basically, if you want to run curl command, all right, some curl command and you run it in multiple shells. All right. So for example, I run curl command here. So let me just copy this, um, copy link or not curl aria 2 c it's a downloader. Okay. And I make another shell and run another, you know, download another link. Okay and i make another shell and again do the same thing some other another link all right copy it paste it and if i run all these like this okay so now we have three aria 2 c processes okay three aria 2 c processes with the different link and we have to open all these different different shells to run these processes to start these processes which is something you don't have to do all right it's pretty lame way of doing it Okay. What you can do is you can pass an argument, uh, which is the link and here just make a download function and uh, use this import OS module. So OS dot system and here we have to type our command. So system is a function and inside it, if you write something, it's just going to run it. All right. So the command is aria to C. And then we have to pass a link. Okay. So let's make it a F string and link. Sorry. Uh, I missed the key. All right. So this command is going to get run as a sub process. So now let's just make, you know, episode one, episode two. So we are going to start two processes and both these processes are going to down download two different you know two different episodes all right so arcs is equal to now let's see the docs again because i sometimes forgot all right this is how you pass the arguments so here we are going to pass link one and let's just do the same thing here for link two okay so ignore this e01 dot start and copy it and these are the two which we are starting all right so argument is our download links so let's just download episode one here okay here okay sorry uh here or just make it a variable all right so episode one link is equal to our uh, here and same for episode two uh just change it to here episode two and i think it will be fine sorry i'm doing very slowly like i'm typing all this very slowly okay so e01 link comma and same thing here all right e02 link comma all right it's cool so let me okay now it's cool so episode one link episode two link i hope this is the correct link it have to be correct okay so everything is on place. Now we are going to download two episodes at same time by running multi process. All right. So let me save it and run the script.py. So it's saying F is not defined because in the target, as you can see, the function name is changed. Now it's download. So sorry about that. Let me run it again. So as you can see, it's downloading like two items and the print, the output uh, you might get confused with it. Like it's, um, printing two stuff. So, uh, we have three processes here. One is for episode one, one is for episode two, and, uh, one is basically our main process. Okay. So this is like a parent process. Okay. So that's cool. So as you can see here, um, we are downloading stuff. Now, I don't know like whether 
the download is happening properly or not so let me go into youtube and do ls so as you can see there are two outputs now obviously the you know output can mess up all right you might don't see because it's um, aria 2c and uh, you know it's overriding the outputs for both the process it's pretty complicated okay but we are getting our files cool let me stop this and you might have to install a uh, stop multiple times so control c once won't work because you are running two processes okay and killing these processes is a very big pain uh, i just want to tell you and working with multiprocessing is something which you have to learn because once you enter into the real world programming in case if you're wondering like if you want to be a programmer then you will realize that you know all the programming which you did uh, doesn't really work in real world you have to learn multi-threading multi-processing and async io okay these three things are like oh my god like it's okay why i'm running it like this python script i mean i can make chmod plus x script.py and run it like this that's stupid i was doing it all right now what we have to do is we have to make um like just get all these links okay how we are going to get it well i can okay we we have one link and basically we will just change this value all right now what my plan is is to download all the episodes okay so so using this function process is cool but imagine if you want to run 100 processes which is something you don't want to do but if you want to do well this is not a good way so you can make something like a pool you know thread pool uh, not thread pool multi-processing pool something like this all right so this is a you know modern way of doing it so instead of process we can use pool and then let's just read the docs again so we have to use with pool all right so let's just do it uh remove this or i'll remove this data with pool and let's just download five episodes or 10 episodes all right 10 episodes sp all right so again uh, okay i can't do anything without docs what the fuck so p dot map is a function which uh basically what it's going to do is it's going to execute this function f and it's going to pass all these values as a you know argument all right so uh it's going to run a function f once and it's going to pass one as a you know argument and then again two as an argument so it's going to run this function three times with three different arguments okay so what i can do is i can make a list so my links is equal to list and for um, i in range one to ten a links dot append uh i'm a noob all right don't judge me I'm just trying to teach you something which I learned a few days ago. <laughs> okay, so let's just download only nine episodes. Let's just see. Okay, oh, make it a f string and enter i here. All right, cool. So now this links is basically a list of all the links, and let's just print it. Let's just remove all this. Okay, we don't need any of this, and let's just print this uh, links all right and make it all right this is cool i just want to see whether we are making whether we are making a correct list or not okay episode one episode two yeah we are making a correct list and this is episode nine all right so now what we can do is with this pool all we have to do is we have to again see the docs okay why we are printing this i don't know print p uh, because p is for pool all right so we okay map and download comma and then the list which is links all right so these are the arguments and downloads is going to get run nine times i guess and uh, it's fine let's just write nine here and let's just hope this works okay so python okay no need of writing python script.py and as you can see we downloaded multiple things here and if i do ls oh my god like this is perfect let me just exit this and if i do ps aux grab python so as you can see one two three okay so all the episodes are downloading parallelly and the reason why i'm doing this is because the download speed which i get from this website is very low so if you download everything parallelly it's much better 
because it's faster like oh, everything is okay you get it all right